The year is 50 BC. All Gaul is occupied by the Romans. All? No. One small village of indomitable Gauls is still holding out stubbornly against the invaders. A similar problem now confronts Caesar, who wants to plant the Roman eagle on Hibernia, a proud, majestic island off the coast of Britannia. Because, as in Gaul, a village populated by indomitable Hibernians, led by their chief whiskey tonics, is holding out alone against the Roman legions. Despite incessant attacks, whiskey tonics does not falter. It must be said that he has a very special advantage. The source of his courage and tenacity, a magnificent ram with golden horns. Perilous, the general responsible for the attack, had a diabolical idea to weaken whiskey tonics. He captured the charmed animal, which had been with the chief forever. The plan worked, and whiskey tonics, having sunk into depression, no longer bothers to defend his island. Which is why Keratin, daughter of Whiskey Tonics, is seeking a solution to come to her people's aid. Told of the exploits of Asterix and Obelix, the two famous Gallic heroes, by a friend of a friend of the family, she crosses the sea to ask for help from these distant cousins. Getafix is picking mistletoe, we're hunting for boar, everything is fine. And if we see any Romans, we'll bash them. Yeah, yeah. Come on, a little morning workout. I demand that you leave this young girl in peace. She's not a young girl. She's a spy, a Hibernian, a prisoner. Well, of course she's a young girl. These Romans are crazy. Did you see that, Asterix? I did see it. Come on, let's help our druid and the young lady. What's a Hibernian? Ah, oh, 
my friends. You're just in time. And for the Romans, it's time for justice. Somewhere. Thank you very much, Asterix and Obelix. May I introduce Keratin? She's come straight from Hibernia, where some of our distant ancestors settled. Hibernia? Isn't that the big island off the coast of Britannia? Aye. You're as good at geography as you are at fighting, my Gallic friends. Keratin has come to ask for our help because the Romans have stolen her father's beloved ram. Aye. It's his lucky charm, the source of his courage and strength. Without it, the chief is lost and full of sorrow. For sure. Poor daddy. They took Okidokix, his lucky ram. A lucky ram? What does a lucky ram look like? It's like dogmatics, but woolly. And it bars rather than barks. Anyway, I think you should go to Hibernia to help Keratin and her father. By air, you. Let's crack on and get me old fella's lucky ram back. Don't be surprised. The Hibernians speak like that. I can't wait to visit Hibernia. Is it true what they say about the fields? Yes. Apparently you can watch the small birds flying freely. Oh, aye. That's exactly it. It's so peaceful around the fields of Athenry. Wait here, Keratin. You can join us later. We're going to dole out a few slaps to the Romans. Jupiter, you are crazy! Ow! by two tatis.
Aye, that's a brutal trick from those Roman Amadons. I, too, have a grudge against the Romans. Amadan Obelix? That must be a Hibernian expression. Aye, you could translate it as, these Romans are crazy. By Tutatis, I didn't know they said that in Hibernia. Oh, they say it in every language. Right, let's not hang about, let's find another boat. But where? They're like hen's teeth. Um, really? But the Romans might have one. We'll go to their camp and ask nicely. It's a Gallic custom. It's called striking a deal. Yeah! Hey, Keratin. Why does your ram have golden horns? Oh, we Okidokics was born like that, aye. My father thinks he's a gift from the gods. He loves him, adores him, has cherished him since he was tiny. He's always been with us. I'm the same. I love my little dogmatics, even if he doesn't have golden horns. Yippee! We're going to teach those Romans a lesson in their camp. Fine. I'll join you after. Will you be okay, my Gallic friends? Yes. We'll do the usual. We knock before going in. around here.
Bei wem ist wohl diese Little Frau? Was mit Eis ist du in der Dinger? Oh! 
I spent ages putting that thing up. Oh. I'm not good on today. Humans. Ouch. You would get this. <laughs> the goals are here. Watch out! Ah. Oh! I've I had enough! The fashion boots! Oh no! Not there! Ouch! Only one Roman left to bash! Organic boots in sight!
are crazy! There's one left. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. It looks to be a hell of a fight. I told you, Keratin, we're specialists. Come on, to the beach. The Romans' boat shouldn't be far away. Blocked. Nobody. It's like a leprechaun. It's what we call the bad people in my country. Come on, let's not waste time. Set course for Hibernia. Do you know the way? Aye, due north. Head for the village of Drogada. My best friend, Cowlix, is waiting for us there. He must have been investigating to track down my father's ram. It's elementary for sure. And so, Keratin, Asterix, and Obelix traveled to distant Hibernia aboard a Roman ship. Heading to the village of Drogada, where Keratin's friend Cowlix is investigating the theft of Okidokix, the lucky ram.
Quo Vardis. Who are you? Where are the new recruits that we've been waiting weeks for? Sorry, there wasn't room on the boat. And there was nothing to eat either. We're not going to waste our time explaining to you, Roman. Prepare yourselves! taken over the village. May their nails drop out when they want to scratch. <laughs> That's a funny expression. Keratin, is there no other way in? Aye. Cross the forest to the west and meet me at Cowlix's hairdressing shop. I'm going to investigate the area a bit.
Why have the Romans set up camp here? Hmm, it is indeed strange. Get ready, Oblix. <laughs> the gods are here! Gauls love to travel, especially when it's properly organised. And you, Roman, what are you doing here? I am General Perilous, sent by Caesar to conquer Hibernia. All Hibernia. That's annoying. Annoying? Why? Because we're going to stop you. Quid? Legionaries, attack! Oh, yes, attack. I was going to say that. has run away from the fight. Yes, that's really not playing fair. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. We have to find Keratin and her friend Kalix.
Why do birds suddenly appear every time that I am near? What on earth is he doing? It's better not to know, Obelix. Here we are. This is Cowlix's shop. Aye, good to see you, friends. But I have some bad news. The shop's closed and there's no one inside. Follow me. Maybe he's at home.
This is Cowlix's house, but it's surrounded by Romans. This is going to be hair-raising. Something written here. It looks like boards with a house and boats. Maybe they're hieroglyphs. Too bad Edifice isn't here. He could have helped us. This isn't Egyptian writing, Obelix. Don't talk nonsense. It's a coded message. Cowlix and I used to communicate like this when we were Wains. I know that a picture can speak a thousand words, but I have to say, I would have preferred the words. This drawing tells us where to find him. Surely at the boat builders.
There's a drawing. A fish and a flag? That gets us a long way. These drawings must correspond to something. Perhaps to the symbols shown above the village houses? boxes are reinforced with metal. It's impossible to pass. Let's find a more suitable tool to bash these boxes, Oblix. Let's go to the blacksmith. He must have what we need. If you're looking for tools, the Romans stole mine. They left them at one of their camps on the beach. You can go behind my shop. There's a little path that leads you there. Excellent. Thank you, blacksmith. where you came from, ghoul. This is a restricted area. Not anymore! I don't know my own strengths. A hammer! Finally! We'll be able to break the metal boxes with this.
by two tatis. I've been tearing my hair out. I couldn't bear hiding from those Romans anymore. May they grow scales on their backs. Let me introduce Asterix and Obelix, Gallic friends who have come to help us fight the Romans. Hi, Cowlix. Do you know where the ram Okidokix is? For sure, I'm not sure. But I've been earwigging when I've been doing the Romans' hair. I think General Perilous gave it to Almost Famous, a Roman musician, as a gift. He must be giving a concert for the legionaries. I didn't know the legion liked music. Oh, yes. They've even got a favourite song. Hi, hi, hey, executor sin vi am su am. Anyway, where's this concert? On the site of the Hibernian Games, a piece of land where we celebrate our cultural games. If I were you, I'd go there. Right. Well, let's go and play there. Aye. I'll come with you as far as the port. But after that, I need to hide. The Romans think I'm a spy, and they're not wrong, and they want to arrest me. Uh. Halt, Gauls, and Cowlix over. We'll be tied you if you touch our hair on this hairdresser's head. of the fight to snatch Cowlix. That was a close shave, but we can still catch them up. Let's go. Up, up. They've put Cowlix on a galley. Let's find a raft, a boat, a vessel to follow them. Don't worry, the Romans will soon be high and dry. You're right, Obelix. Wait for us here, Keratin. We'll save Cowlix.
Romans. Gallic fruits in sight. Ah! Oh, ah! I made you a little hard to rush.
Ja. My friends, I survived by the skin of my teeth. Asterix, Obelix, I'm going to see my father in Tara. He needs my support. He's so sad without our sweet wee Okidokix. Don't worry, Keratin. We'll find him. Don't waste any time. Get to the Hibernian Games before the Romans find out what's happened here. And remember, find Almost Famous, the Roman musician. He's the one who has Oki the Ram. Let's go, Obelix. Really? We're going to the concert? Neat. While Keratin and Cowlick stay behind in Drogheda, Asterix and Obelix hurry to the Hibernian Music Festival. They are determined to silence the Roman musician, almost famous, and recover the ram. Asterix, this stuff about a tamed ram. Why not, Obelix? You've got a tamed dog. I'm sure he can sit up and beg. He must know how to sit up and... Ah! What are you doing here, ghouls? We're looking for Okie Dokies. I've never heard of that band. 
and the concert is reserved for legionaries. So skedaddle! Did you hear that voice, Obelix? Yes. I hope he sings better than Cacophonix. I may have gone in a little hard Oops. there. Sorry, I don't know my own strengths.
missed a note. And yet, we missed a note. <laughs> Cacophonics will be proud of us. Does this mean we're bards now, Asterix? Oh, calls! Please help me! It's an emergency! We're listening, but first, with whom do we have the honor? By my moustache! I'm Radio Gargax, the greatest bard of Britannia! I was doing my popular Hibernian tour, the Radio Gargax tour! But those cursed Romans stopped it to make way for that abysmal, almost famous and his wretched band! I protested, and they arrested me and my celebrated musicians. I don't even know where they are, but they won't stop me now. Don't worry. In fact, we're looking for Almost Famous. Do you know where he is? Please, I want to break free. Go on ahead. I can guide you from the watchtower. Very well. And we'll find your musicians too. Wonderful, darling. What a piece of luck to have met you. to Tatis. Say we've got a pretty good ear.
here for this. Oh, 
Festival. My dad and I did the opening set for the Cranberries two years ago. Once, the Britannian bard Banana Ramax even came on stage to sing with me. Splendid, darling. Hey, Asterix, we're going to be spotted if we can't keep Radio Gargax quiet. You know, Obelix, discretion isn't exactly your forte either. Oh!
They're here! Phoenix will be proud of us. Nicely done. I'd say we've got a pretty good ear. Does this mean we're bards now, Asterix?
Here. Oh, goodness gracious! I see you found my bagpipes! I'm floating around in ecstasy, my friends! Can you imagine if Cocophonix had an instrument like that, Asterix? I think we messed up, Asterix. Oops, we missed a note. Drat, we missed a note. Oops, we missed a note. <laughs> Ho! Hop! Phew! Got to start the melody again. Yeah. Ooh, that was a false note. Ho. Ho. I think we messed up, Asterix. Phew. We missed. 
missed a note. Up. Up, up. Phew. I missed it. Got to start the melody again. Mr. No, ah. Huh? 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 We don't have an ear for this. <sighs> oh, yeah, missed it. Got to start <laughs> the melody again. <laughs> I think we messed up, Asterix. Snow. Yeah. Hop. I think we messed up, Asterix. Ho. Hop up. Phew. Hop. Phew. Yeah. Hop. Yeah. Hop. Hop up. Hop. We know how to play music, Asterix. A glug of magic potion right now. Gardax's musician say he must pay for his repeated insults to music. Yes, first and foremost, he should stop singing.
停。Asterix. Does this mean we're friends now, Asterix? Nicely done. I'd say we've got a pretty good ear. Most famous, Radio Gargax with Gallic musicians. <laughs> if the Gauls knew how to make music, we'd know. Shall we shut him up now, Asterix? Let's wait a bit, Obelix. You're going to pay for your revolting insults, Almost Famous. I challenge you. A musical battle. Hmm. And what will the prize be, if you please? You will be the champion of music, of course. And if you lose, and you will lose, you will have to answer to my Gallic friends. <laughs> Let me laugh before I play. Come on, strike up the band. Pathetic. Quick, we have to protect Radio Gagax. Now. 
friends, help me! Said almost famous. May the greatness of Rome never suffer it. But by Apollo, I admit my defeat. What do you want, Gaul? The ram. Okie dokies. We know you have him. That filthy animal, full of fleas and unbearably stinky. Stupid to be praised. I got rid of it. I gave it to a centurion of the Fifth Legion, who was camping on the Hibernium Games site. He wanted to make a stew out of it. I, for one, would never give up dogmatics. Unless he ate it as a kebab. Eat a lucky charm? But that's bad luck. I hope for your sake, Almost Famous, that the ram has not bitten the dust. Come on, Oblix. 
Let's go to the games venue and find the Fifth Legion. Safe travels, my friends. Don't forget, the show must go on! Following Almost Famous's confession, our heroes take the road to the site of the Hibernian Games to save Okidokix, the much sought after ram. You have one new message. This modern messaging is handy. New message. Autofocus. Commander of the Roman Hibernian camp awaits you and challenges you. Great. I love a challenge. New challenge. If you manage to cross the forest without a hitch, we will give you information on the ram. End of message. To listen again, say... Listen again. We'll delete it instead. When he says, without a hitch, what exactly does that mean? It means that it's going to be difficult. Let's go, Oblix. Ho! Thank <laughs> you. 
What kind of trials do you think they have at the Hibernian Games, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix. Maybe caber tossing? Like with the pits? I like tossing cabers. They're very light. Compared to a many, that's for sure.
It's like the Pictish Cabotos. Do you think we can throw menus? Obelix, we won!
That trial was easy. There wasn't even enough clashes. Weren't enough clashes? Because it's plural. Just because it's rural doesn't mean there isn't any clashes. Right, never mind. Champions. Asterix, are we there yet? I don't know, Obelix. I'm bored. I can't wait to get to the camp and bash those rodents. The camp shouldn't be much further. Be patient. Asterix. Obelix. And now are we there yet? Obelix, don't start! Fine, I won't say a word, since Mr. Asterix doesn't wish to converse with me.
Laurel Reef. Hey, Asterix, can we join in the games when everything's finished? Without any magic potions, yes. Otherwise, it's cheating. Sorry, big guy, but you'll just have to watch. <laughs> just because I fell in the cauldron and I was little. Love, 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 love. love. They must not escape! I may have gone in a little hard there. Sorry, I don't know my own strength. Let's go! There has to be a Roman hiding some. I may have gone in a little hard there. Sorry, I don't know my own strengths.
There you are. So, you passed the first challenge. Not a hitch. But I, Autofocus, commander of this Roman camp, have not had my last word. We're waiting for you to focus, Autofocus. Let me be clear. You will win the ram if you beat our records in all the trials. Beating the Romans? We know how to do that. We'll see about that. We'd better watch out, Obelix. This smells like a trap. And you know how sneaky those Romans are.
are the champions. By Minerva, I'm annoyed. But all the Roman records have been broken. You've been exposed, Autofocus. And now we can box. No, no, we'll stop there. Take the ram. It's all yours. You and your garrison aren't staying here. Leave the Hibernians in two shakes of a ram's tail. Fine. We're going to leave. We're leaving. We've left. Let's go, legionaries. What do we do now, Asterix, with Okidokix? We hurry to Drogada to take him to Keratin and Whiskey Tonics. They'll be so happy to see their beloved ram again. After humiliating the Romans at the Hibernian Games, Asterix and Obelix have recovered Okidokix. They must find Keratin quickly and take the beloved ram to her father, Chief Whiskey Tonics. It's quite odd, though it looks like there was a fight.
A fight? Without waiting for us? That's just not fair. I don't know what happened here, Oblix, but there's something fishy going on. No, no, that's just the ram. He stinks. You know, Oblix, you're almost funny sometimes. Maybe the Romans felt so upstaged by our records that they went back to Rome. No, Obelix, they haven't gone anywhere. Look! Whoa, they look like they're up for a fight. Leave them to me. Whoa there, Obelix. First, we need to find out what happened at the port. Look, it looks like these two missed the battle. Via Victus? <laughs> and they've got a stinking ram, too. They didn't wait for us. I knew it. What's going on here, Romans? What have you done with the villagers? Everyone's been arrested, ghoul. Even that idiot hairdresser who was getting in our hair. And if you don't want to end up as prisoners in the cliff camp too, skedaddle. We don't take orders from you, Romans. The only order that I like is the battle order. I'll show you.
Of course, the Romans blocked the main door. Surely for us Gauls, it's just a simple matter of knocking. Let's take them by surprise instead. We can hug the cliffside to get around the camp and give those Romans some knuckle sandwiches. Two tatties, that's a long way down. We'd better be careful not to fall. Yep, no cauldron down there. Watch where you put your feet, Obelix. See how narrow it is. What are you trying to say? No, 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 no,
somewhere. Huh? Asterix, I'll give you a shout if I need a hand. Greed is an ugly trait, Obelix. My knuckles need a good cracking once in a while too, you know. Here are the two Gauls. <laughs> Have you turned over the whole land to find this poor, stinking ram? <laughs> it's unusual for a Roman to laugh when he sees us, Asterix. So, did you have fun at the Hibernian Games? And you didn't realize that it was a trap to get you away from the village? To arrest the chief's daughter, the hairdresser, and all their accomplices? You're very cunning, Perilous. Oh, yes, Gauls, and even more so than you think. Because capturing the ram was a ploy to get the rebel chief's daughter away from him. It was her that we wanted, and now we have her. My plan worked. You'll never manage to get that cursed ram to the chief. I am the best. General Perilous. Soon, Tribune. One day, Consul. Future Emperor! Is there an emperor in Rome? Not yet. While you play shepherds with your stinking ram, we are about to conquer Hibernia. Everything was planned. I played you, Gaul. Perhaps now it's our turn to play. It's too late, Gaul. I'm on my way to join the troops to watch the glorious spectacle that is the conquest of Hibernia. All Hibernia! Let him go, Obelix. Don't waste time on that, Roman. Let's save Keratin, and then we'll lend Whiskey Tonics a hand.
feel my strength oh. draining oh. away. True, honest, authentic heroes. Aye, that they are. The bards will sing your legend for more than 2,000 years. And you found our sweet wee Okidokix. Daddy will be so happy. With Okidokix and his daughter safe, he'll make mincemeat of those Romans. Aye. Now that everyone's together, we'll be able to lend your father a hand. You'd better go on ahead. We'll join you later. Fighting isn't really our thing. And we must help the villagers after all they've been through with the Roman attack. Very well. What's the fastest way to join your father, Keratin? Follow Okidokix. He knows the way to Tara. He's the finest guide in the area. Keratin and Cowlix are saved, but Hibernia is not. Guided by the ram, Asterix and Obelix fly to the aid of Chief Whiskey Tonix who is attempting to resist the Romans in his fife, Tara.
we are. Tara. Bravo, Okie Dokics. Hibernia may have lost one battle, but it won't lose the war. So, we charge! Yeah!
Spam! Why do they have their menus like that? I don't know, Obelix. Maybe some strange Hibernian custom.
We can't be far from the chief.
five wispy puppies before the catapults destroy the whole village. Just look at how many Romans there are. I think this is going to be fun. than I imagined. Big and lots of Romans. Well, let's fix that and get rid of them. With pleasure. the Romans get through this big door. You hear me, Obelix? Loud and clear. Oh. Oh. 
Time to take a nap. I get the feeling we've arrived in the nick of time, Chief Whiskey Tonics. We're the Gauls that Keratin sent. Need any help? The Gauls! Aye! Aye! Yeah. And with my Oki, my darling Ram. I missed you so much, my wee baby. Aye. 
I'm raring to get back to hitting, whacking, bashing. Sorry, the wool can't be very fresh. He doesn't smell good. Ah, well, you have to love him as he is. Thanks to him, my strength is tenfold. It's a bit like the magic potion. Ah, curse it, Gauls! You won't stop me from conquering Hibernia? Well, actually, yes. We are going to stop you. We'll see about that. Aye, attack! Charge! Forward! You won't find me, Gauls. Take this! Launch the catapults!
perilous. Do you understand that you've lost, or shall we keep hitting, whacking, and bashing? No, stop. It's fine. I accept my defeat. Fortunately, Caesar isn't here to see it. When you see him, tell him that Hibernia will always remain free, independent, and proud. Surely sure. What? Carrotton! Cowlix! You're back! Tell him Hibernia will yield to no one, no matter who. I'll mainly be trying to convince him not to throw me to the lion. Well, that's what happens when you follow orders like a sheep. Hi! Gaul, we owe you a debt of gratitude, and you're going to see what Hibernian hospitality is. Birds! Music! Let's cook some wild boar for our Gallic friends. Aye, that's a good idea. At least you don't boil them in water like your neighbours. After enjoying some wild boar to celebrate the defeat of the Romans, Chief Whiskey Tonics invites Asterix and Obelix to the Hibernian Games, which can be held in peace. As for Okidokix, the brave ram, he is warmly congratulated for helping our friends. He receives a generous feast made up of the finest Hibernian fodder, flowers and vegetables as a gift. Back in their village, Asterix and Obelix tell of their Hibernian adventures at a sumptuous banquet with fine Gallic wild boar. So, is Hibernia as beautiful as they say? Oh yes, we found some Romans in great shape, not like at home. They had brand new ones, all to themselves. So lucky. And Chief Whiskey Tonics has a four-legged friend too. But you know what? It's a ram. Soon they'll tame the wild boars, and we won't be allowed to eat them either. Oh, times change, Obelix. Speaking of wild boar, does anybody want some? Me! 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 Me!